Good morning, everyone, and happy Friday. It is currently 527, and um, I told my mom I would get to her house around 530, so we're not too far off. I'm just running a tad bit late. My mom is having some procedure done. I don't really know what it is. Something with her cataract. She had her cataracts removed a while back, and then I would say about maybe three months ago, she had to have corrective surgery, or not surgery, it's just like a procedure on one of the eyes and now the other one. And I think they said it was because it was slightly coming back. I don't know. I told her that I would drive her to that appointment and then um, come back and I guess it's just an hour long appointment not a big deal but anyway I wanted to talk to you guys and I don't know if this is gonna go up or not I who knows I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about like my um, struggles with the weight loss and stuff like that I'm sure you guys have noticed that I've put on a lot of pounds since my shake it off with Angela stopped I would say if I'm gonna be honest, I would say that things took a turn for the worse for me late December and January was the kicker for me. January, I got super like, I wouldn't say depressed, but I don't know what it was. It was just like a moment in time where I just was sad, couldn't function. Um, a lot of stuff was going on personally um, and I just started slipping and spiraling and it slowly but surely got to the point where I was not counting calories, not caring what I was eating, just crave my cravings went sky high and once you start, you know, like somebody who's addicted to sugar and stuff like that, once you start it, the, that spiral, it's super, super hard to get out of the spiral. I lost all discipline. I mean, my discipline was great. I was doing fabulous. I was, you know, exercising. I was, um, you know, counting my calories, watching what I was eating. Everything was great. And then it wasn't great. And then it was just literally a spiral, January, February, March, April, and now we're into May. And there were a few times in there um, where I would attempt to start over again and it lasted for a few days and then it was just done. And I, you know, wanted to start recording about it or whatever and then I thought, no, I'm not going to just in case I slipped up. But then that kind of like gave me the option to slip up, if that makes sense. So I decided <clears throat> this past weekend, you know, this is crazy. Let's get on the scale. So we got on the scale because I was avoiding the scale too. And to my surprise, you know, to my surprise, there was about, let's see, 20, about 45 pounds added to my body from December to May to late May 45 pounds and I have a thyroid condition and people with thyroid conditions if you've had your thyroid removed or if it's like a severe thyroid condition like mine we can easily put on weight super fast super fast it's crazy I decided no I have to like really do something about it so I thought okay I'm gonna do all mad I'm gonna do my one meal a day well I started doing that this past weekend and everything was going great until oh gosh it was on Wednesday I was at work and I had done all mad the previous day I opened up my window my eating window between 6 and 7 p.m. So those of you who don't know OMAD, that's what it is. You eat one meal a day, you get all your calories because I'm a binger. So I need to feel that full satisfaction. So I get in my 1,000 to 1,300 calories all in one meal, which is totally easy to do for me anyway. Um, 
So <clears throat> I did that and at work, I thought I was having a panic attack, but then I started feeling a little faint and jittery. And I was just like, okay, wait a minute. I, my blood sugar is low. Um, and I have not been tested for diabetes recently. I'm sure we're almost there and I'm sure I literally just caught it. <clears throat> um, and once you have diabetes, you can't go back pretty much, I think. I don't know, I might be wrong. I thought, oh my God, what is going on? So I got into my group, my um, OMAD groups, and I'm like, hey, this happened to me. I used to do OMAD before. I don't understand what's going on. And they're like, are you eating oh, your, I'm just called. Anyway, the Epsom salt. And lo and behold, I forgot to take my Epsom salt. So I started taking my Epsom salt every two to three hours under the tongue. It's for electrolytes. And I'm hoping today I notice a difference. Okay, I'm almost at my mom's. So I'm going to have to pick this up a little bit later. Okay, I am back. So, excuse me, it is 7.10 and everything went great. Everything was good. Um, it took like maybe 45 minutes for her to get it done. I guess she had some form of LASIK or something like that. I don't know. Some kind of corrective thing and she said she was feeling a tiny bit of pain but I mean they numbed everything up they said pretty good and that it was gonna wear off so she's doing good so let me kind of pick up where I left off so anyway you guys I needed to add the Celtic salt to underneath my tongue like two to three hours every single two to three hours to get my electrolytes up and there's something about the cells too where like the salt gets into the cells and it helps if you're feeling faint or you know anything like that. It helps you feel a lot better while you're fasting. So I am going to do that throughout the entire day today because yesterday when I was at work, I was super scared that it was gonna happen again. So I packed um, some frozen mango and I also packed some cucumber that I could have in the morning. So I did kind of break my fast, but I did, you know, count it as calories and stuff um, in the morning. So I did have that snack, but today I'm going to try to do my, you know, complete fast and hopefully my, my blood sugar remains the same. I'm hoping by the end of June, I have like a very small kind of goal that I want to do by the end of June. And I feel like if I can achieve that, like I don't know if I should, you know, start making videos once a week again as like a check-in with you guys for that. If you want me to bring Shake It Off with Angela, I can do that. I can maybe call it something else, maybe not Shake It Off with Angela, like a new name. If you guys um, have any suggestions, leave a comment down below and let me know. But yeah, my small goal is 14 pounds down by the end of June for sure. Like 15, yeah, like 15 pounds down by the end of June. And if I can do that, then, you know, I will definitely I mean I'm going to continue no matter what because this weight has to come off because I feel like it's gotten to the point now where you know it's again once again out of control I do plan on going to Costco today at some point in time I need to get vitamin water I need to get salmon um, I need to get some other forms of protein um, probably eggs and you know all that kind of stuff but yeah Costco is definitely the place to go for things like that thank you guys for listening to me completely ramble about you know this little update and what's been going on um, hopefully you guys can encourage me and if you guys are struggling I can encourage you I mean it happens you know and this time it's kind of weird like okay so I'm wearing some clothes that I you know was still wearing 
before, only they're a little bit tighter. So I don't like that. So I want it to be like where I'm just comfortable in my clothes. But the difference between this time and last time is that like, I guess I'm more relaxed in my body. Like I don't, I, and maybe it's an age thing, but I'm like at that age now where, oh, what are they doing? Something shady is happening right there. Um, I'm at the age now where like, I don't really feel too self-conscious going out, being the size that I am or, you know, not, you know, being where I want to be. I just don't really care anymore. I don't care what people think anymore. You know, I mean, I used to, you know, have to have my hair just so and my makeup just so and every single picture that I put out, it had to be perfect. Like I had to use the perfect filter and like one little thing like that, you know, was wrong that I saw. No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't post it. So I do feel more like secure there. Um, so that's, you know, a difference, I guess. And maybe, like I said, maybe it's just age or something. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm talking about, you guys. I'm just rambling. Anyway, I am almost home. So I hope you guys all have a fabulous day. I think today is the last day of school for kids. Because I think, yeah, this is it for our city. So that's interesting. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys all have a great day. Thank you so much for listening to me ramble. Leave a comment down below. Give me your input on everything. I love hearing from you guys. Um, it makes my day when I see the comments starting to come through. Even if I don't engage in your comment, I literally read every single comment that you guys send me. So it is greatly appreciated, but I hope you guys all have a great day. God bless. I'll see you all soon.